up, Internet? It's Sunny, and uh, guess who I have with me? It's JT, if you didn't know. Uh, so, we're going to be doing a white privilege test that is on uh, BuzzFeed. This was a long time ago. 2014. I didn't even know what white privilege was in 2014. I... You just learned about it this year, so... <laughs> I learned about it last year. It, it's been a crazy journey for me politically. I've always been conservative, but... I didn't know this monster of privilege and cultural appropriation and other stuff. Like, this is brand new to me and this I'm is- I'm a victim. Yeah, this is way brand new to her, so. Woo, girl. It's crazy out there. Understatement. Yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go through this list. And the first question is, I, well, it's like you have to check off what you are and what you're not. So it's not yes or no? No. Okay. I am white. No. Clearly not. Okay. I have never been discriminated against because of my skin color. Define discriminated yeah, against. Yeah, I mean like... I was like, did someone call you an N? Does that mean discrimination? I don't know. Or did it mean that I didn't get my house loan? I mean... I'm going to say I have never been discriminated against because of my skin color. I have never experienced, like, you can't do this because you're black. I can't think of a single job that I actually applied to that I didn't get because of your I was skin color. black. Yeah. Can't I think can't, of yeah, I can't either, so I'm going to Like, literally out. every single job I've applied to, except for maybe that one at Fidelity, I've gotten. I... I, I have never I'm pretty sure there are others, but not any like major ones. You, you, know? Know, you would know if you're being discriminated against because of your skin color. It's like you it would know, be kind of obvious. Yeah, I, I mean, so I'm gonna check now. I have never been the only person of my race in a room. I don't ever think about that, so I don't even know. I, I, I can say yes because I was the only little black girl in school. But yeah, you Does were the only count? black girl. In your in my school. in my class. Yeah, in 2002, right? Yeah, 2002. I guess we could check. We can leave that one alone. Yeah. Okay. I have never been mocked for my accent. <laughs> I get. I get. Wait. Here's the wait, thing, though. That's everybody. You from Wisconsin? We are gonna mock you. Yeah. You from I, New York? I mean, but here's the thing, though. Like, I got just I guess mocked for my accent back in by, the day with by other black people. You talk proper. What you don't talk like us. You talk too proper. I don't talk. I'm like I ghetto. talk English. Like what? I never like when that first started happening. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what they were talking about. Me either. I'm like, what do you mean? I talk like a white girl. I, I mean, I, I I didn't. Well, understand. I understood when they said that. But mm -hmm. when they said you don't talk like us, you talk proper. Mm -hmm. Why do you talk like that? I never understood what they were talking about until they said you talk like a white girl, and I was like, like oh. Oh. I can't help where I was raised. Sorry. I'm like, you know, if you're raised by dogs, you will learn how to bark. I'm going to leave that one blank. I have been told that I am attractive for my race. Never been told that in my life. No. Ever. Ever. They just said I look pretty. Or I've never, ever, ever heard you look pretty for, for a, a black, black girl. girl. Never. I've never heard that. Never. Uh, I have never been a victim of violence because of my race. Never. So I'm not going to take that off. No. Uh, I have been, I've never been called a racial slur. I, <laughs> Gotta check that. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait. Even the president has now. I've been never called a racial slur. Leave that one blank because I've been called that by other black people. Pretty and much. only recently have I been called the N-word by a white guy. The first time ever. The first, well, no, second time ever. It was in second grade. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that God. happened to me with like second or third grade. Yeah, too. yeah. He had to buy me a, a gift. <laughs> That's going to make it all better. Like, I'm going to keep it. Okay. But anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll leave that one. I have been told I sound white. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, have also, I have never been told I sound white. <laughs> and it's only from other black people. Wait. But, oh, I, I got to uncheck that. Yeah, my bad. I keep getting it backwards. <laughs> a stranger has never asked to touch my hair or asked if it's real. I get asked if it's real all the time. Even when our hair is like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Before I cut my hair, I'll see if I can find a picture. My hair wasn't even that long. 
And they were like, mine too. Yeah. Like my driver's license picture. I'm like one of the only people with a good driver's license. Girl, picture. her it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. But my hair, her hair, her hair was longer than mine in that in that picture, but it wasn't like long. And get this, it wasn't from black. I mean, it wasn't from white people that asked us that. It was only black from black people. people. And then, like recently, I got my hair trimmed at the Ogle School. Mm -hmm. I'm cheap. Ogle School is like a. Uh, it's like a beauty academy. Yeah. And the, my hair was like this. They were straightening it. Mm -hmm. She washed my hair, blow dried my hair, and straightened my hair and trimmed it. You mm -hmm. know. During the whole process, everybody sees my scalp. Mm -hmm. Everybody sees her working on my hair. And people still ask, is that all of your hair? That's all your hair? I'm like, what's... Like, are we like anomalies? Like, this Do is hair? Do black people not have hair? I don't know. I mean, you know, because, you know, some people, their edges be gone. And they're like... I understand that, but they have hair. They just got a, more of a forehead. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't get that. We... I'm going to have to do a video. I don't care if it gets one view. I'm going to do a video on black hair and why it's so stupid. I don't care what y'all Oh, girl, it is so stupid. Oh. Um, and, and a stranger, well, it, it wasn't a stranger. It was my girl, E. She did ask to, uh, to touch my hair because she doesn't have hair. She's like, she's one of those people that can pull off a bald head. You know, she's one of them Africans, you know. With she the really so... pretty, beautiful, yes. just round head. Mm. See, I, I know I got some dents in my head. I can't do it. I can't do it either. Mm -hmm. My hair too big. I look like freaking... Ball head. Anyways, so <laughs> um, I am heterosexual. Chuck. Yeah. I've never lied about my sexuality. Why? Why would you? As and that's another thing. I'm sorry. Sidebar. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm sorry. I do it all the time. I know. Especially this day and age, like the past ten years. Mm -hmm. Say the past ten years. Why is it such a big deal? that gay people are coming out. You do not deserve an award. You really don't. For being yourself. You don't. How is that Maybe such a your heroic thing to do that, that you deserve an SB? I don't girl, understand that. Like, I do not understand. Being yourself is so brave. Back in the day, like 50s, okay. 60s, 70s, yeah, maybe. Can definitely understand that then, yeah. Now? Past, even 20 years. Now? No, you don't deserve we, an award for that. Care. We it's don't care. It's like, oh, so and so is gay. Oh, so and so is bisexual, pansexual, whatever sexual you want to make up nowadays. I don't care. Nobody cares. If you cares. save a baby from a burning building, I will give you applause and praise. But other than that, just you for you being liking yourself, the same sex, I don't care. You being who you want to be, how is that brave nowadays? I don't no. understand that, but. We okay, go on. That, I'm, I'm done with my, one, my first sidebar. Oh, uh, wait. Here. I have ne I have never had to come out. <laughs> I want the world to know. I never doubted my parents' acceptance of my sexuality. Well, first they would have uh, whooped our behinds because they're Christian, <laughs> and they would never accept us being gay. <laughs> no, they probably would. They would probably be mad at first, but then they'd probably be like, you know what, whatever, whatever. So. They would constantly pray for us, yes. lay hands on us, yeah. but they pray would the love us. Away. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no doubt that they would love us, still call us, mm -hmm. say, hey, what you doing? You want to go to the game or you want to go to the fair? Yeah. yeah. Do you want Whatever. us to buy you food? Because that's what they always do. Always. Like, <laughs> They're always buying you stuff. <laughs> you need this? Okay, come on. Let's get you some of this stuff. Um, here, let's go on. It's pretty long. Uh, I have never been called a fag. I've never been called a dyke. I feel dirty saying that. But no, we have never been called those things. No. Mm -mm. I checked those, right? Okay. Oops. I keep... My bad. I'm sorry. You, you skipped... She skipped literally like five of them. I'm gonna need you to get it to get six. Seven. <laughs> Eight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just keep going down the list. I'm not checking them. Okay, okay I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on you now. Okay, okay, thank you. Please. I have never been called a fairy or any other derogatory slurs for homosexuals. I didn't know fairy was a derogatory thing that you call gay people. They this call was, themselves that. I don't understand. You learned something new. This was back in 2014. See, this is how much I'm behind, y'all. Like, I had no idea. I've, Check. Anyway. <laughs> I have never tried to hide my sexuality. Check. Check. I'm always comfortable with PDA with my partner in public. 
if I had one. As long as you're not like stripping, getting naked, and like doing it. That's a little extreme. Movies. If you're like, okay, I remember, I'm bringing up your past now. We we're playing pool. It was, oh, I forget his name. He had a really ugly face. I can't remember his name. He had a car, I mean, the, like a sports car or something. I don't remember. It was one of your ex boyfriends. And y'all were making out constantly while we were playing pool. It was his sister. What was his name? And he had a car, I remember he was driving it and the hood came up. Oh yeah. What's his name? Y'all made out constantly and that bothered me. Anyways, I'm always comfortable with PDA. I'm not going to check that one. Do you want me to check that one? It, it's up to you. Okay, I'm not going to check. Anyways, I have never pretended to be just friends with my significant other. I'm Why? not going to check that one either. No. Why would, why would you do that? If you have a significant other... Be a significant other. I've never pretended to be just friends. That's a dumb question. Anyway. Check it. You've never done it. Okay, my bad. I have never been ostracized by my own religion for my sexual orientation. No. Because I'm strict and we're Christian. I have never been told I would burn in hell for my sexual orientation. (laughs) First of all. (laughs) First of all. (laughs) If you're a Christian... And you're telling homosexuals that you're going to burn in hell. It's not really the, the way. That's not the way you do it. They're not going to respond to that. And then they're probably going to have sex in front of you. Jatisha, no one does that. <laughs> Shush. You know what I mean. No. Okay. They're probably going to do something. They're going to, to rebel. F- yes, rebel. And like probably instantly. Yeah. That's not the way to do it. No. You just be like, I'm going to pray for you. I mean, I've never been told that. And I've never had a Christian tell anyone that they're going to burn in hell for any other sin. Yeah, I've so, never seen it. I've never heard anybody talk about it. Me I've either. never. And we grew up in church. Like, not just Hardcore. church. Not just church. In the country oh, church. Gosh. Where there was nothing but trees and churches. And cows. Don't forget the cows. and they stay. Trees and churches. That's what I always say. So where are you from? Oh, maybe. There ain't nothing but trees and churches down there. And stinky water. I have never been told that my sexuality is just a phase. Gosh. I feel like I need to be gay to to take this. (laughs) That's a lot of questions about sexuality. I have never been violently threatened because of my sexuality. I am a man. Nope, can't check that one. (laughs) Like, don't get it backwards again. I feel comfortable in the gender I was born as. Check. I'm a female. I have female reproductive Except organs. for that one time you identified as a male when you had to go to the bathroom at Denny's. I sure <laughs> did. And it was taking too long in the other one, so I went to men's bathroom. I don't care. And plus, you don't want to go into a bathroom at Denny's if it's taking the person too long. Mm-mm. I'm just saying. Mm-mm. You don't want to do that. There's never a line in the men's bathroom, so. Um, I still identify as the gender I was born in. Uh-oh. We, just click it. Uh, uh, once we click that one, that just... <laughs> <laughs> it's only because she had to go pee. <laughs> I have never tried to change my gender. Click. Uh, I have never been denied an opportunity because of my gender. Why would... Uh, a job, a Yeah, house, forget it. Just, I was just like, why would I be? I'm like, forget it. These, This is BuzzFeed. <laughs> Gotta remember. <laughs> Who would I know, right? <laughs> I make more money than my professional counterparts as of a of a different gender. You oh. make more money? Yeah, I make. Why is to, that a question? Because it should be the same amount of money. Okay, it? but the, yeah, but this is Buzzfeed, and they think that the gender pay gap is still a thing. So I make the same. I actually make probably more than some of the people in the office because. Okay, I'm just gonna click this because maybe someone watches. 